God is good all the time. Omuka mamulunji obudebona Mungu ni mwema kila wakati I continue to welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration where we shall have our brothers, seven of them, seminarians being ordained deacons and two of our deacons of Holy Cross being ordained priests. Those to be ordained deacons, the seminarians, we have Mr. Douglas Alenaitwe, who's from St. Cyprian Parish, Hoimadasis, Uganda. We have Mr. Emmanuel Isabiri, CSC, from Holy Cross Parish, Bugembe, Ginger Diocese, Uganda. We have Helmes Ahimbisiwe, CSC, from Charles Parish, Fort Porto, Uganda. We have Mr. Innocent Anuriza, CSC, from Wokomire Parish, Fort Porto, Diocese, Uganda. We have Mr. Joachim Nganda, CSC, from Holt Trinity Parish, Masalini Machakos Diasis, Kenya. We have Mr. Martin Kule, CSC, from Senyi Parish, Kasese Diasis, Uganda. Then we have Mr. Vincent Balukudembe, CSC, from Visanje Parish, Masaka Diasis. All the families are most welcome, you are most welcome, and thanks for offering your sons to the church. Those to be ordained priests, we have Deacon Charles Bunjako, CSC, from Kitovu Parish, Masaka. Then we have Deacon Emmanuel Agaba, CSC, from Kinyarugonjo Parish, Hoima Diocese. We also thank the parents for the two of our deacons to be ordained priests. Thank you for offering your sons to the church. You are all most welcome. Mass is going to begin with the procession in a few minutes. So we pray that you will maintain the spirit of prayer. I will request the social media people. We only have our Holy Cross Family Ministries who are the official, official, who are official recognized to take photos and to capture the video, plus Uganda Catholic Television. The rest, if you have photographers you brought as a family, for one of the Mughalese, we request that you take the photos where you are seated. We are in mass and we don't want congestion, we want to keep the dignity and respect for this important prayer in our faith at the Catholic Church. So, I request the choir to continue praising the Lord with the songs. Thank you. Choir, please.
I request the choir to begin the procession song. They are beginning to process. We all stand, we all stand. Zé 
Dear brothers and sisters, with joy, let us give God a thunderous clap for this day. <clears throat> On your behalf, allow me to welcome His Grace, Archbishop Paul Semogeli, the Archbishop of Kampar. You are most welcome, Your Grace. I also wish to very warmly welcome Bishop Servarus Jumba, the Bishop of Masaka Diocese. In a very special way, I wish to welcome Reverend Father Andrew Goshi, CHSC, the third assistant of the Superior General of the Holy Cross. Thank you for your coming. We also welcome our beloved Reverend Father Cyprian Binak, CSC, Provincial Superior of the Province of East Africa and other provinces. You are most welcome. I welcome all of you, brother priests, religious men and women, and superiors of other congregations. I wish also to welcome our candidates, candidates for diaconate and candidates for priesthood. You are most welcome, and we wish you a happy day. And finally, and most important, I wish to welcome the parents and friends of these candidates, all those who have come all the way from Tanzania, from Kenya, from the different parts of Uganda. Sasa mina sema karibon sana. At this juncture, let me kindly invite His Grace to lead us in the Mass, Your Grace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate sacred mysteries.
I confess to the Almighty God that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I've done and what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me in the Lord our God. May the mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. O oh God, who have willed to provide shepherds for your people, pour out a spirit of reverence and fortitude in your church to make these your servants worthy ministers at your altar and ardent yet gentle heralds of your gospel. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We are going to sit, and it is the moment to listen to the word of the Lord. It's a special moment for us when the Lord speaks to us. So we listen attentively. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant to those who mourn in Zion to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. But you shall be called the priests of the Lord. Men shall speak of you as the ministers of our God. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations, and their offspring in the midst of the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them that they are a people who the Lord has blessed. The word of the Lord.
the second reading. Let us walk in newness of life. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, all of us who have been baptized in Christ Jesus, we are baptized into his death. We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death. So that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our former man was crucified with him so that the sinful body might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For he who has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. For we know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives in God. So you also must consider yourself dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Let us all arise for the gospel. From the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, 
that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. This I command you to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I request we sit. Now, His Grace the Archbishop is going to teach us through His homily. Let us listen attentively. Cathedral Administrator, Father Mayanja Eble, recognized the protocol and welcomed all of us. I, there's no need for me to repeat the observed protocol, but I wish to request you all in a special way to welcome Bishop Severius Jumba from Momasaka Diocese, who has joined us in this celebration. <clears throat> he has come as a, a bishop, as a believer, but also in a special way, he has come here as a parent. And we thank him for giving us a son to be ordained a priest. I also welcome Father Andrew, the third assistant of the Superior General of the Congregation of the Holy Cross. Welcome. I cannot, I was not, I didn't go through the rehearsal of saying his last name. So allow me to just call you Father Andrew. I will thank you for coming and for bringing the blessings from Rome for this function. I also thank and welcome Father Spiria Pinaka, Cyprian Pinaka, Provincial Spiria of the province of Eastern Africa. Welcome, Father. I also welcome members of the Congregation of Holy Cross who decided to give us the opportunity to have this function held in this cathedral and giving me the opportunity to be the chief presider of this function. Thank you for coming and thank you for giving us the candidates. We have the major superiors from religious institutions Thank you for coming, and of course, I cannot ignore the parents and relatives and guardians of our candidates. Thank you for coming. With fraternal love, 
I greet and welcome all of you brothers and sisters. In a special way, priests of the Congregation of the Holy Cross, we thank you for the mission you undertake in this archdiocese and in the rest of Africa, in Uganda and all over the world. The fruits of your work as educators in the faith in various schools and parishes since your arrival in Uganda in 1958 are visible. This explains why more young people are joining your congregation as we have observed today. May your zeal for the evangelization of the peoples rekindle itself each day. In a special way, I greet and congratulate the candidates for ordination. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, as we read in Psalm 118. It is indeed a special day in the Congregation of the Holy Cross, and particularly in this province of Eastern Africa, when we witness the ordination of two priests and seven deacons of our congregation. We thank you, dear brothers, for responding to the call of God, the call to serve him and to serve his people. We are very proud that we are sending missionaries, apostles to the world. Thank you for responding positively to Pope, Saint Pope Paul VI when he visited Uganda and requested us appeal to the Africans that they should become missionaries to themselves. We are indeed missionaries to our own countries, but we have done even more that we are becoming missionaries to the world, to the entire world. Thank you. In a similar way, we welcome and thank all those who have joined with these candidates up to this moment in their lives. Our dear parents and benefactors, superiors of congregations and formators, their fellow brothers in the congregations, relatives and friends, may the Lord bless you for your generous contribution to the lives of these young people. Dear brothers, to be ordained, the Lord reminds you, as he did to his disciples, it was not you who chose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, as we read in John 15. So I urge you, therefore, to cherish God's choice of you. It is a special choice. Every, so you should cherish it every moment of your life. God appoints you to make him known, to make him loved, to make him served, and thus save souls for him. This is the charge the blessed Basil Moreau, your founder, gave to the congregation. So remain obedient to your superiors after the example of Christ who came to do the will of his father. So with fervent prayer and the observance of the magical counsels of poverty, chastity, and obedience, according to the rules and constitution of the congregation, you will bear fruit 
that will remain. Have no fear. Set your gaze on Christ. Strive to live the life of the sacraments, especially the Holy Eucharist and penance, which you will give to others, but will receive yourself to make you holy and strong and ready to save and strengthen others' faiths. Trust in the providence of the Lord. For Jesus Christ says in the gospel, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. With this, the Lord will help you to constantly be faithful to your vows in religious life and be witnesses of the church. Let, let your, the cross and the Holy Cross remain your brand. It is a brand for all of us. We do everything in life in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. As Holy Cross congregation, champion this brand and its redeeming purposes. Carry the cross in order to save life of others and save your own lives. Do not be ashamed of carrying this cross. With it, you will endure through very difficult situations. With this cross, will help you to endure through uncomfortable situations and conditions of your ministry. So be courageous and brave carriers of the cross. We are proud to have you and to ordain you and to give you mission to go through the world. So be our faithful, gallant ambassadors to the Universal Church. The Church promises to pray for you that the Lord may sustain you, make you obedient, and, joy, and have joy in your, in your call. May our Lord Jesus, present in the Holy Eucharist, help you to be faithful and humble servants bold proclaimers of the truth to the society and the steadfast witnesses of his love in the world by your life and deeds so that the world may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly father. We pray that the blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Joseph our patron intercede for all of you and for all of us. Banyabo neva sebo mbani liza nyo mkathidri eno mweba le kujia nyani liza no neva za nava za de abatuwa de abagore bano Banyabu never saw me ever in your memory, Dara. Mu Uganda, Nemo Africa, Omukama to what day, Ibirabo Vinji. Atina to an Ibirabo, Ibiava sister, never social duty, never brother, Avewayo, never won't get a Katonda Mungari in Jawu. Twino Muksa. Ndabajulizuwa Uganda wafukirida ukuitibuwa kwa fi. Nitufuna abagoberezi wanji. Emabegu abajulizuwa Uganda. Nibeva mokuwe liza katuna mungeri enja ulu. Omwezi kuna ugwa Augusto, gutumaraku. 
wasosoldoti neba nadini banji abivu demu kuereza omukama chikolwa kya buzira umurembe guno ugwaba vubuka abaine bizibwe byenja uru ibasomoza ukuraba ngamuvamu bano atenga banji neba kirizo kuereza omukama nokole birunji nokole bisa bisa katonda nokumukikira mu mpise nnunji mu nsiyo na Primwe wazo muka moyo, atuwa do mkisogu. Tu sabira, na dadaba na bevu demu, ogeno koro vuminsani, mwinsie zienja uro. Siba kubela wano mu Uganda muka, neba kubuna nsio na, mifebi ye wala, mifebi zibu, mifikarubo, nebi yangu. Mkita mrekina kituku vutuba sabiri, ngo muka mawateka ke mikono, Abasigo mzigo, babere, abasajja, abavumu, abatukirivu, mkwerezo mkama. Tuangiro kubasa vila musaraza fe, izaburi jo, ngatuwa wele kera, jivana agendo kutuchi ikirida, babere wa wanguzi. Kerezia, ya teke kaburu unji, emikoro jino, ejo web sosroti, Jowo na dini, jowo episkopi. Mukoro musara jetu soma, ngatu sabira awa gole wano. Mbasa ba mwede wa uru, nga muuliza buru unje nyo. Kuwange sara yu nebi gambe vili mu. Sibi awa gole woka, nebi ya fefe na. Ate vili unje nyo. Evitu ya amba kuungeru kwe vili la kuunsonge no. No kutuwa mwini mwago kukora, wanadaro woku basa vila. Kwe teke teke burunji, umukoro ugudako, umuka ma atujuli de, biya teke 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 de, ebiyo kuyamba no kongera maso, umuli mogo kurangi ya kristu, monsio na. Now we are going to have or to continue with the rite of ordination. The sacrament of the holy orders is in three levels or degrees, diaconate, priesthood, and episcopate. And today we are privileged to witness the two levels, the two orders. Seven candidates will be ordained deacons and two will be ordained priests. So at this moment, I will invite the vocations director of the congregation of Holy Cross, Father Lawrence Mwenya, who will call the candidates and then the superior of the Congregation the Provincial Superior, Reverend Dr. Cyprian Binaka will present them to his grace, the Archbishop, and request him to ordain them. His grace will first do the process of electing of the candidates, the election of the candidates, and then to be followed by examination of the candidates to confirm that they are resolved to be ordained deacons and priests and that they may confirm before us that they are resolved. So, Reverend Father Lawrence, welcome to call the candidates. Let those to be ordained deacons come forward. 
Douglas Alinaitwe of the Congregation of Holy Cross. Present. Tata Omulisa, Nyawe Basima Ronald, Hamu Navasemera Florence, Netukwasa Umana Waitu, Alinaitwe Douglas, Aherezeru Hanga, Hamu Nekerezia Yona. Amen. Emmanuel Isavirie of the Congregation of Holy Cross. Present. Bikumbi Patrick, Nemunange, Nanda Go Harriet, Baba Tukogemia, Omana Waifono, Asobolo Kue Reza Katonda, Nekerezia, Obola Mumwe, Buona Buona. Herimans Ahimbisiwe of the Congregation of Holy Cross. Present. Wait in the Sabish or Po Ninichiriza Motavani Wanje, I him Sibwe Herimans, O Kukwale Rekedezia, O Gide Gayab Warner. Innocent Ahuniriza of the Congregation of Holy Cross. Present.
your grace I your grace I knight M. Margaret and Nyakairi Joseph present our son Ahuniriza Innocent CSC to serve the church. Joachim Mganda of the Congregation of Holy Cross. <laughs> Present. Joseph Nganda and the priest, we present Joachim to serve the church. Martin Kule of the Congregation of Holy Cross. Present. But uh, Archbishop, in Chenesio Kete, no more I will see a vira from a poor Tomana were to put a matin. They would take the Zia, the Zia Yao of Ingovo was. Vincent Balikudembe of the Congregation of Holy Cross. Present. Sebo, Saba Sumba, Nzi Sekajigo, Akire Oserungaya, Awamune Mukazi Wange, Grace Nababi, Tukwasa Omana Wafe, Vincent Balikudembe, Aweleze Mukama, Nekelezia Oblambwe Wona.
Most Reverend Archbishop Paul Semogere, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, for service as deacons. Do you judge them to be worthy? After inquiry among the people of Christ and upon the recommendation of those concerned with their training, I testify that they have been found worthy. We rely on the help of the Lord God and, and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and we choose these men, our brothers, for the order of deacons. Thanks be to God. Now the vocations director will also call the two candidates to be ordained priests. Those to be ordained priests, please come forward. Deacon Charles Bunjako of the Congregation of Holy Cross. Present. Deacon Emmanuel Agaba of the Congregation of Holy Cross. Present. Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, for service as priests. Do you judge them to be worthy? After inquiry among the people of Christ and upon recommendation of those concerned with their training, I testify that they have been found worthy. We rely on the help of the Lord, God our Savior, Jesus Christ, and we choose these men, our brothers, for priesthood in the presbyteral order. Thanks be to God. Now, His Grace the Archbishop will address the candidates to be ordained deacons and get to ascertain their commitment to the vow of celibacy. My dear sons, you are being raised to the order of deacons. The Lord has set an example for you to follow. As deacons, you will serve Jesus Christ, who was known among his disciples as the one who served the others. Do the will of God generously. Serve God and mankind in love and joy. Look upon all unchastity and avarice as worship of false gods. For no man can serve two masters. Like the men the apostles chose for the works of charity, you should be men of good reputation filled with wisdom and the Holy Spirit. Show before God and mankind that you are above every suspicion of blame, 
true ministers of Christ and of God's mysteries. Men firmly rooted in faith. Never turn away from the hope which the gospel offers. Now you must not only listen to God's word, but also preach it. Hold the mystery of faith with a clear conscience. Express in action what you proclaim by word of mouth. Then the people of Christ, brought to life by the Spirit, will be an offering God accepts. Finally, on the last day, when you go to meet the Lord, you will hear him say, Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. By your own choice, you seek to enter the order of deacons. You shall exercise this ministry in the celibate state. For celibacy is both a sign and a motive of pastoral charity and a special source of spiritual faithfulness in the world. By living in this state with a total dedication, moved by a sincere love for Christ the Lord, you are consecrated to him in a new and a special way. By this consecration, you will adhere more easily to Christ with an undivided heart. You will be more freely at the service of God and mankind, and you will be more untrammeled in the ministry of Christian conversion and rebirth. By your life and character, you will give witness to your brothers and sisters in faith that God must be loved above all else and that it is he whom you serve in others. Therefore, I ask you, in the presence of, the of God and the church, are you resolved as a sign of your interior dedication to Christ to remain celibate for the sake of the kingdom and lifelong service to God and mankind. I am. If to wishes, may the Lord help you to persevere in this commitment. Amen. His grace will also address the two candidates to be ordained priests and also question them. My sons, you are now to be advanced to the order of the presbyterate. To presbyterate. You must apply your energies to the duty of teaching in the name of Christ, the chief teacher. Share with all mankind the word of God you have received with joy. Meditate on the law of God. Believe what you read. Teach what you believe. And put it into practice what you teach. Let the doctrine you teach be true nourishment for the people of God. Let the example of your lives attract the followers of Christ so that by word and action you may build up the house which is God's church. In the same way, you must carry out your mission of sanctifying in the power of Christ. Your ministry will perfect the spiritual sacrifice of the faithful by uniting it to Christ's sacrifice, the sacrifice which is offered sacramentally through your hands. So know what you are doing and imitate the mystery you celebrate. In the memorial of the Lord's death and resurrection, make every effort to die to sin and to walk in the new of life of Christ. 
when you baptize, you bring men and women into the people of God. In the sacrament of penance, you will forgive sins in the name of Christ. With the holy oil, you will relieve and console the sick. You will celebrate the liturgy and offer thanks and praise to God throughout the day, praying not only for the people of God, but for the whole world. Remember that you are chosen from among God's people and appointed to act for them in relation to God. Do your part in the work of Christ the priest with genuine joy and love and attend to the, to the concerns of, of Christ's before your own. Finally, conscience of sharing in the work of Christ, the head and shepherd of the church, and united with the bishop and the subject to him, seek to bring the faithful together into a unified family and to lead them effectively through Christ and in the Holy Spirit to God the Father. Always remember the example of the good shepherd who came not to be served, but to serve and to seek out and rescue those who were lost. Now it follows the examination of the seven elect to be ordained deacons. My sons, before you ordained deacons, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake the office. Are you willing to be ordained for the church's ministry by the laying of hands and the gift of the faith and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I am. Are you resolved to discharge the office of deacon with humility and love in order to assist the bishop and the priests and to serve the people of Christ? I am. Are you resolved to hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience as the apostle, urge, as the apostle urges and proclaim this faith in word and action as it is taught by the gospel and the church's tradition? I am. Are you resolved to maintain and deepen a spirit of prayer appropriate to your way of life and in keeping with what is required of you to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of ours for the church and for the whole world? I am. Are you resolved to shape your way of life always according to the example of Christ whose body and blood you will give to the people? I am with the hope of God. Yesterday, they professed the vow of obedience. Now, His grace will again examine their promise of obedience. Do you promise respect and, ob and obey to your legitimate superior? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you, do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? I do. 
May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocese and bishop and your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in, your, in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the work, the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the Diocesan Bishop and your legitimate superior? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the Dyson Bishop and your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the Dyson Bishop? And your legitimate superior? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Now, His Grace will continue with the examination of the two elect to be ordained priests. My sons, before you proceed to the order of the presbytery, declare before the people your intention to undertake this priestly office. Are you resolved with the help of the Holy Spirit? Are you resolved with the help of the Holy Spirit to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyterial order, as conscientious fellow workers with the bishops and the caring for the Lord's flock? I am. Are you resolved to celebrate the mysteries of Christ faithfully and religiously as the church has handed them down to us for the glory of God and the sanctification of Christ's people? I am. Are you resolved to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely, preaching the gospel and explaining the Catholic faith? I am. Are you resolved to consecrate your life to God for the salvation of his people and unite yourself more closely every day to Christ the high priest who offered himself for us, for us to the Father as a perfect sacrifice? I am with the help of God. His grace will continue to examine their promise of obedience and one by one will go to him to promise obedience. Do you promise respect and obedience to the Dyson Bishop and your legitimate superior? I do. May God who has begun the work, good work in you Bring it to fulfillment.
Do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary and your legitimate superior? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Now, we are all invited to prayer to pray the litany of the saints, litany of supplication. This is a prayer to the Holy Trinity through the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, angels, holy martyrs, and all the saints. This means that because of the faith of the saints, we received the foundation of Christian faith. Therefore, we request the saints to pray for the elect who will be ordained deacons and priests. So all of us are requested to kneel. We are all requested to kneel. My dear people, let us pray that the all-powerful God may pour out the gifts of heaven on these servants of his, whom he has chosen to be deacons and priests. Takatifu mama wa mungu Maria mtakatifu bikira baba bikira Mtakatifu mikaeri Watakatifu malaika wa Mungu Mtakatifu Yosefu Mtakatifu Yohane Mbatiza Watakatifu Petro na Paulo mitume Mtakatifu Yohani Mtakatifu Maria Magdalena Takatifu Stefano Watakatifu Mashaidi wa Uganda Takatifu Andre Basseti Takatifu Ignasi wa Antiochia Mm 
mtakatifu raurenti watakatifu papetwa na felista mtakatifu augustino Takatifu Atanasi Takatifu Basili Takatifu Benedicto Watakatifu Francisco na Dominico Mtakatifu Johann Maria Vianney Mtakatifu Katriana wa Siena Takatifu Teresia Wavira Takatifu Yosefina Bakita Mwenye Eris Dori Bakanja Mwenyeli basiru moru Mwenyeli kremente na nenge peta anurante Mtakatifu watakatifu wote wa mungu Takatifu Karori Takatifu Emanueli Takatifu Patri Takatifu Mavi Takatifu Vicent Takatifu Joaki Takatifu Herimensi Takatifu Innocent Takatifu Dagra Takatifu Matino Uturemie Katika uopu wote Katika dhambi yoyote Katika 
katika mauti ya mirere kwa kujifanya mwanadamu kwa kufana kufufuka kwako kwa kumpeleka roho mtakatifu sisi wako se takatifu na wote wenye dalaja takatifu upende kuyajali ya mataifa yote amana mapatano ya kweli upende kutudhibitisha sisi na kutudumisha katika utumishi wako takatifu Teule hawa upende kuwabariki na wateule hawa upende kuwabariki na kuwata kasa wate ule hawa upende kuwabariki kuwatakasa na kuwaweka wakfu Yesu mwana wa Mungu ali Lord God hear our petitions and give your help to this act of our ministry we judge these men worthy to serve as deacons and priests and we ask you to bless them and make them holy 
Grant it is through Christ our Lord. Let all stand. Now follows the laying on of hands. His grace will lay hands on those to be ordained deacons and then follows the prayer of consecration. After the laying of hands and the prayer of consecration, we shall have seven newly ordained deacons. Almighty God, be present with us by your power. You are the source of all honor. You assign to each his rank. You give to each his ministry. You remain unchanged, but you watch over all creation and make it new through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. With your word, your power, and your wisdom. You foresee all things in your eternal providence and make due provi provision for every age. You make the church, Christ's body, grow to its full stature as a new and greater temple. You enrich it with every kind of grace and perfect it with diversity of members to serve the whole body in wonderful pattern of unity. You established a threefold ministry of worship and the service for the glory of your name. As ministers of your tabernacle, you chose the sons of Levi and gave them your blessing as their everlasting inheritance. In the day of your church under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the apostles of your son appointed seven men of good repute to assist them in the daily ministry so that they themselves might be more free for prayer and preaching. By prayer and the laying on of hands, the apostles entrusted to those chosen men the ministry of serving at tables. Lord, look with favor on these servants of yours, whom we have now, whom we now dedicate to the office of deacons to minister at your holy altar. Lord, send forth upon them the Holy Spirit that they may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace to carry out faithfully the work of the ministry. May they excel in every virtue, in love that is sincere, in concern for the sick, 
and the poor. In an unassuming authority, in self-discipline, and in the holiness of life. May their conduct exemplify your commandments and lead your people to imitate their purity of life. Now we have seven newly ordained deacons. <laughs> they will now be vested with a stall and dalmat, a stall that is, signifies holy order. And I request one of the parents who is carrying their vestments to bring them forward and the priests who have been designated to vest them, come forward and vest them. These are the official vestments for the deacons as they assist at the celebration of the Eucharist and also as they officiate the sacrament of baptism and other liturgies such as funerals. Each of the newly ordained deacons will go to his grace, the archbishop, where he will hand on the book of the Gospels to signify that the deacons are the official proclaimers of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Deacon Douglas, receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. <laughs> Deacon Emmanuel, receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Mm -hmm. 
Deacon Helmens, receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Receive what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Deacon Innocent, receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Deacon Joachim, Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. <laughs> Deacon Martin, receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Vincent. Deacon Vincent, receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Now the seven newly ordained deacons will join the clergy of the sanctuary while His Grace the Archbishop will continue with the ordination of the two elect to the priestly order. Ordination to priesthood happens by the laying on of hands by the bishop and the prayer of consecration. By laying on of hands, those to be ordained priests will be presiding and celebrating the sacred mysteries in the person of Christ himself, persona Christi. My dear people, let us pray that the all-powerful Father may pour out the gifts of heaven on these servants of his, whom he has chosen to be priests. May all stand. Hear us, Lord, our God, and pour out upon these servants of yours the blessings of the Holy Spirit and the grace and power of the priesthood. In your sight, we offer these men for ordination. Support them with your unfailing love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Now his grace will continue with the laying on of hands. And all later, the concelebrating bishop will also join him. And all the priests with stalls will also do the same.
come to our help, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. You are the source of every honor and dignity, of all progress and stability. You watch over the growing family of man by your gift of wisdom and your pattern of order. When you had appointed the high priest to rule your people, you chose other men next to them in the rank and dignity to be with them and help them in their task. And so there grew up the ranks of priests and the offices of, Eli of Levites established by the sacred rites. In the desert, you extended the spirit of Moses to 70 wise men who helped him to rule the great company of his people. You shared among the sons of Aaron the fullness of their father's power to, to provide worthy priests in sufficient number for the increasing rites of sacrifice and worship. With the same loving care, you gave com companions to your son's apostles to help in teaching the faith. They preached the gospel to the whole world. Lord, grant also to us such fellow workers, for we are weak and our need is greater. Almighty Father, grant to these servants of yours the dignity of the priesthood. Renew within them the spirit of holiness. As co-workers with the order of bishops, may they be faithful to the ministry that they receive from you. Lord God, and be to the others a model of right conduct. May they be faithful in working with the order of bishops so that the words of the gospel may reach the ends of the earth and the family of nations made one in Christ may become God's one holy people. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now we have two newly ordained priests. Now I request one of their parents who is carrying their vestments to bring them forward and the priests who have been chosen to vest them to also come forward. Apart from the celebration of the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, priests celebrate the sacrament of reconciliation for the forgiveness of people's sins, which deacons cannot do. For that reason, priests are vested with the chasuble to signify the love of God which covers people and takes away or forgives our many sins.
the newly ordained priests one by one will go in front to his grace, the archbishop, who will anoint their hands with the chrism. The oil of the chrism is the oil that consecrates forever. It is the Holy Spirit who consecrates. For that priesthood, ordination to priesthood, is forever permanent. Father Charles. The Father anointed our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus preserve you to sanctify the Christian people and to offer sacrifice to God. Father Emmanuel, the Father anointed our Lord Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. May Jesus preserve you to sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. After that, the newly ordained priests, they will receive bread and wine, pattern having bread and the chalice containing wine, to signify that priests celebrated the mysteries of our, celeb of our salvation, especially the mystery of the Holy Eucharist. Father Charles, accept from the holy people of God the gift to be offered to him. Know what you are doing and imitate the mystery you celebrate. Model your life on the mystery of the Lord's cross.
Father Emmanuel, accept from the holy people of God the gifts to be offered to him. Know what you are doing and imitate the mystery you celebrate. Model your life on the mystery of the Lord's cross. Now, His Grace the Archbishop, His Lordship the Consolidating Bishop, all the priests and the deacons will give the newly ordained priests and the newly ordained deacons a fraternal kiss to congratulate them. And the rest of us, the rest of us will do that after the liturgy after Mass.
continue with the offertory. Please, the ushers organize for the offertory. I request that we continue with the offertory, please. Time for offertory. stand as they bring the gifts of Atori. We all stand.
can all sit down. Let's stay have our seats. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Holy Father, whose Son chose to wash the disciples' feet and so set us an example, accept we pray 
your blessings of, your, of our service and grant that offering ourselves as a spiritual sacrifice, we may be filled with the spirit of humility and zeal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Praise Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's your right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by anointing, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the New and Eternal Covenant, and by your wondrous design, we are pleased to decree that many mysteries be exercised in the church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a, a brother, brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of the hands. He chooses them to lead your people to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word, and to strengthen them with the sacraments. And they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters. They strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, 
You give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy those gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks to the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death and process of resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of, of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrifice of victim by whose death you will it reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your earth. Special Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and, all, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession we live and failing help. May this sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Paul Semogere, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to join forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ, our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. It is the time to receive Holy Communion, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, and only Catholics, those that have prepared themselves, will come to receive the Eucharist.
we shall have a moment of silence to meditate and reflect on the mysteries we have just received. To lead us in the post communion prayer, we all rise. Grant, O oh Lord, to your servants, whom we have replenished with heavenly food and drink, that for the sake of your glory and the salvation of all believers, they may be found faithful as ministers of the gospel of the sacraments, and of charity, through Christ our Lord. The choir will lead us in one thanksgiving song, only one. Next, the newly ordained priest will give the blessing to his grace, the Archbishop. And, I think it should come up and after that, they will give him a blessing, and he will give us a blessing, and then we we'll proceed with the other programs. Yeah, actually, the two bishops. you and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. The new ordained now will bless all of us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May his face shine upon you and give you here see. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. 
And may the blessing of God, the Father, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and be in with you forever. The bishops will give us the final blessing. The Lord be with you. Faithfully discharge your duties. Amen. May he who has entrusted deacons with the preaching the gospel and the serving both altar and the people, may you fervent with <coughs> Make you fervent witnesses for the gospel and the ministers of charity in the world. Amen. Amen. May he make you who are priests, true shepherds, to provide, the, to provide the living bread and word of life to the faithful, that they may continue to grow in the unity of the body of Christ. Amen. And may the mighty God bless all of you who are here the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our masses and let us go in peace. Shall all sit? God is good all the time. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it. Alleluia indeed. I'll take these brief moments to welcome and thank the presence of a few people. First, I'll begin with thanking and welcoming and recognizing the presence of his Grace the Archbishop Paul Sam Gerere of Kampala Archdiocese. We also recognize the presence and thank His Lordship Severus Jumba, the Bishop of Masaka Diocese. We welcome and recognize the presence of the Third Assistant General of, Hol of the Holy Cross Spiria, Andrew, Father Andrew. We recognize the praises and we thank Father Cyprian Binaka, CSC, Provincial Spiria of Holy Cross Congregation, Eastern Africa. Of course, in a special way, we remember and we recognize the presence of our Bagole, the two priests. <laughs> then the seven deacons. <laughs> I take this opportunity to recognize the presence of the Holy Cross family, priests, brothers and sisters and seminarians. I request that we all stand and wave to the congregation. We recognize the presence of other priests from other dioceses, from other congregations. We also stand and wave to the congregation. <laughs> the presence of all the sisters and brothers from different congregations, we can stand and wave to the congregation. Briefly, I will recognize the presence of the Holy Cross Ministries where we serve as Holy Cross in East Africa. I'll begin with Kenya. Holy Cross Dandora, Nairobi, Nairobi Diocese, Kenya. Please stand and wave to the people. <clears throat> 
waumini kutoka our lady of queen of peace Timboroa Edward Diasis Kenya Tukuna waumini kutoka St Brendan Kitete Mbulu Diasis Tanzania Tukuna waumini kutoka Sacred Heart of Jesus Sombetini Arusha Tanzania Kuna waamini kutoka St Anthony of Paduanya Saka Mwanza Diocese Tanzania. Christians of Christ Kuruga Charles Parish Fort Porto Diocese Uganda. Christians from Holy Cross Parish Bugembe Jinja Diocese Uganda. Christians from St. Andrew Basset, Kochigoma Gul Diocese, Uganda. Christians from St. Adolf Kanyabachope, Fort Porto Diocese, Uganda. Christians from St. Denis. Selgwa Wokonge Parish, Kampalach Diocese. Thank you for coming to grace this occasion. And we thank all the friends, families, relatives of the Bagole, the two priests, newly ordained, and the seven deacons. Thank you for coming. We clap for you. In a special way, we recognize the praises and the angelic choirs of the choir that has helped us and met this mass, Echoes of Mass Choir, Holy Cross, Bugembe, Jinja. Thank you very much. We are going to have a few speeches. Very few indeed. First, we shall have a brief speech from the newly ordained and one of the priests will have will give us that speech briefly then we shall have a speech from the parents a very brief speech from the parents of the newly ordained the speech will be followed by that of father Cyprian Binaka the provincial who will request father Andrew to wave at us to greet us then the Bishop of Masaka will greet us, and the last speech will be from His Grace, Paul Semugere. So I will request the representative of the, of the Bagole to come and give us a brief speech. Thank you. All the protocol has been observed. You will allow me to mention a few. It might sound to be a repetition. Bear with us. Your Grace, the Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese, Archbishop of Paul Semogere, Your Lordship, the Royal Reverend Salvers Diomba, Bishop of Masaka Catholic Diocese, Third Assistant of the Superior General, Father Andrew, our Provincial Superior, and your Council, our parents, to all the people of God present here, and those who are watching us from different platforms. The Lord is good, <laughs> and all the time, Tuwa isa mukama, hati nevido viona, tumusifu Yesu Kristu, musengwa asakibwe, o mukama mulonji, o udebo na,
Indeed, the Lord is good, and on behalf of the newly ordained priests and deacons, with great joy we take this opportunity to thank God, who has called and is calling us to serve him as ordained ministers in the Roman Catholic Church. We do not take this journey for granted. Indeed, it's the Lord. As St. Paul tells us in his first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 10, it's by the grace of God that we are what we are now, and God's grace has been effective in us. Join us to clap for the Lord. In a special way, we thank Your Grace, the Archbishop of Kampala, Archbishop Paul Semogeri, for accepting to share with us the ministerial priesthood by ordaining us to the orders of presbyter and diaconate. May God continue blessing you in your Episcopal ministry. To your Lordship, the Right Reverend Savaus Jumba, the Bishop of Massacre Diocese, <coughs> we take this honor to say thank you for gracing our occasion and being there for us always. Sevo Weberinu. We would like also to thank our superior general, Brother Paul, and his council in his absentia, but in the presence of the third assistant, Father Andrew, please you reach our appreciation to the superior general for accepting first our brothers who took the final vows yesterday, and also allowing us to be ordained to the orders of diaconate and priesthood. We thank our province of Spiria, Reverend Father Dr. Cyprian Binaka CSC, and his vicar. I request the vicar to stand up and wave to us, Reverend Brother Mugabe Patrick CSC. Vicar is the assistant of our Spiria. And your council, thank you for admitting us and testifying that you found us worthy to be ordained to the orders of the diaconate and priesthood. Praise we clap for the superiors. <clears throat> to our dear parents, we take this chance to say thank you for loving us introducing us to the faith, supporting us to keep the faith, being there for us, blessing us, and accepting us to serve the Lord as ordained ministers. As Ante Nsana, Mwebale Muno. to our vocation directors. The general formation has not started today for ordination. We can say it started before we were born. And as our constitution tells us that we are already bearing the Christian name and our fishermen came deep in our villages where we are coming from to do the fishing of men. In a special way, we thank Reverend Father Temba Leopold, CSC, Reverend Father Luke Mohindo, CSC, and Father Luke Mohindo, we thank you in a special way for joining with us in our retreat, pre-ordination retreat, 
you are a great man. You prepared us for today spiritually. And we believe we came here still in the grace of God. And finally, on the vocation director's line, Father Lawrence Mwenya, the current vocation director, thank you for joining with us. Thank you also for today to fish us from the other side and allowing us to come this far. We take this honor to thank all those who have journeyed with us, especially our formators, our dear formators from Postrans, at Andrausi Ginger, Father Ronald Kawoya in his absentia, Brother Jim Nichols, Father Timothy Macharia, Brother Everest Nem, and Father Michael Matthews in his absentia. Thank you very much for joining with us. A novitiate at Lake Sack in Fort Potro, we thank one of uh, the historical mis missionaries of Holy Cross, Father Tom Smith, who was our director, and Father Francis Mukasa, CSC, and Brother Everest Nema. Thank you for introducing us more so to the light, religious life and prayer life. Post novitiate Nairobi Kalin Theologicum, Father Cyprian Vinaka CSC, who is now a provincial superior, Brother John Fred CSC, Father Rogers Kaketo CSC. Father Sylvester Macquarie, Brother Kofi Mensa Paul, I request him to stand up and leave the congregation. He's one of the few brothers who are from Kenya and they're working with us here and training us information. Thank you, Brother Paul. We had Father Fred Jenga in his absentia. And Brother, Father Fulgens Katende. Oh boy. That's good. Oh boy, this great man of God. Janet with us patiently in all situations. Thank you for being, for guiding us, performing us, inspiring us, and letting us continue discerning God's will in our lives. May God reward you abundantly. We can't forget our spiritual directors and directresses who have always been there for us in our spiritual journeys. Thank you very much, men and women of God who have supported us in that area. To our young brothers, still in information, we thank you for all the support you have always given to us and we continue to promise you our prayers. We pray that you total, have total trust in God and surrender yourselves to him who knows us well. And the harvest of today, two priests and seven deacons gives you a clear picture that it is possible. To our brothers and sisters in the congregation of Holy Cross and our Christians, and especially in the communities where we have been doing our pastoral from Charles Hose Parish Fort Potro, where Deacon Emmanuel Isabelier had his pastoral year from St. Joseph's Hills. Chembogo, where Deacon Vincent Walkudembe had this first year from Holy Cross Parish, Bugembe, Stoke, St. Andre Bassett, Coach Goma, 
school where Deacon Joachim Ganda did his pastoral. St. Andrews Wanyange, Dujari Community, and Timboroa, Adoret, where Deacon Douglas Ainaitwe had his part. Moyo Mutakatifu Ayez, Parokia Sombetin, where Deacon Kure Martin did his pastoral year from. Holy Cross Parish, Kite Temburu, that is Tanzania, where Deacon Imbisibwe Hermes did his first year from. Mutaktif Anthony Wapadwa Nyashaka Manza, Tanzania, where Deacon Innocent Ahunyiliza had his first year from. Currently, Father Charles Bunjako is working with. St. Hadro for Holy Cross Parish, Kanyabachope. We thank you for coming us. And also, finally, Dujari House, Brother John Frad, and Holy Cross Lakeview Senior Secondary School, where fathers, Emmanuel Agaba and Charles Bonjako had their pastoral experiences from. We thank you, our brothers and sisters, for having us and guiding us and supporting us in doing the mission of Christ. May the Lord bless you. Asante Nsana. <clears throat> to the newly ordained, to my brothers you know, ordained, congratulations upon receiving the sacrament of the holy orders. With my few minutes experience as a priest, I believe that we have all answered the call rightly. Indeed, it's the Lord. It's the Lord calling us and sending us. My brothers, the journey of initial formation it has ended, but formation it has begun today. We continue in formation and discernment. Now we start another episode of discernment in ongoing formation. Therefore, as we read the letter of, to the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4, let us be encouraged and be strong in faith, and always stand for our Catholic teachings and values, for we are not alone in the mission. The Lord is always with us. Let us be servants, for he has not called us to be served, but rather to serve him through serving his people. It is a blessing to the Congregation of Holy Cross that today we receive seven men as we read in the, in the Acts of the Apostles, the seven deacons who are appointed. So my brothers, the deacons, we as the new ordained priests, we pray with you, especially referring to, to that text in the Acts of the Apostles. To the entire family of God present here, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for honoring and blessing this great event in our lives. We promise you our prayers. We ask you to pray for us to our brother priests as we come in to join you in the mission we ask you for your support and your guidance since we are unworthy yet called and we believe in your presence we shall do well Ave Cross Pesunica
it's the Lord. I remain Reverend Father Charles Bunjako CSC. God bless you all. Thank you very much, our Bagole, for that speech. For the interest of time, I'm going to invite our provincial superior, Father Cyprian Binaka, to come and give us a short speech. Thank you, Father. Welcome. God is good, and all the time, to Musifias Christo, Mungu Nyumwema, na kila wakati, to Muhaise Mkama, o Mukama Mulunji. Your Grace, Archbishop Paul Semoge, I take this opportunity to express our gratitude to you for accepting to ordain our confreres. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Your Lordship, Sverus Jumba, Bishop of Masaka, our brother and uncle, thank you so much for your presence. Your presence affirms your fraternal closeness to us. Thank you so much. <clears throat> My confreres, the Congregation of Holy Cross, we are very much privileged to be in this Mother Cathedral. We thank God for the gift of our vocation to religious life and mission. And thank you so much for accompanying these our confreres in their formation. Major superiors here present, members of all religious institutes, thank you so much for your prayers and support. Your presence, again, affirms your closeness to us. You prayed for us, you've supported us. I received many messages from the superiors, my confreers, assuring us for prayers as we're preparing for these two days. Thank you so much, our sisters and brothers. And yesterday we had the privilege to hear, to listen from the president of ARU, again extending the regards of ARU to all of us, that they support us and they, that they wish us the best. Yesterday we had nine of our confreres profess their perpetual vows. We thank God for them. Brother uh, Patrick and Brother Marvin, please stand up such that may see you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. We thank our dear families. Thank you so much for allowing us to serve the Lord. May God bless you. May God grant you the graces that you need. Your grace. In 2007, I and two confreres were ordained deacons by his grace, Dr. Cyprian Kizutorwanga at St. Augustine Institute in Zambia. It was a joyful day a Cyprian ordaining another Cyprian. Thank you so much. But when we invited his grace the second time to ordain our other confreres, his grace in his speech he challenged us that we should not be ordaining at St. Augustine grounds, we should come to the cathedral. And today, and yesterday, we've had our final perpetual professions and ordinations in this cathedral. Thank you so much for welcoming us. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. 
may he rest in peace. It has taken many years for that invitation to come true, and I'm sure that in heaven, His Grace Dr. Cyprian Kizitoranga is very happy seeing the congregation of Holy Cross in this cathedral. <clears throat> Father Atlas Mayanja, the cathedral administrator, thank you for your graciousness to accept our request to celebrate our faith in this cathedral. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Father Seruga Joseph, the pastor coordinator, I thank you. You always encourage us also to come and celebrate here in the cathedral. He challenges us, as Holy Cross, you need to be visible in the archdiocese because he's the pastor coordinator. He was feeling that we are not as visible. We have come. Thank you for your voice always. <clears throat> My dear confreres, the formators who have accompanied our confreres in their formation, thank you for accompanying them well. Your grace, we are all formators in the congregation of Holy Cross, including the people we minister to. But from time to time, we choose some among us to be directly responsible for accompanying us in our journey. We thank you for your dedication and the friendliness. We've had uh, the vocations director, Father Lawrence Mwenya. Father Charles called you a kind vocation director. Thank you so much for fishing. Thank you, our vocation directors. Your grace, you've articulated our charism in your homily with great depth. I was very, 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 very much moved. Thank you so much. May God bless you. We are priests, brothers, and sisters. Your grace, probably you've not met the sisters of the Holy Cross. I would like to take this opportunity to request the sisters of the Holy Cross, please stand such that his grace may see you wherever you are. The sisters of the Holy Cross. Thank you so much, Sister Theresia is the superior, is the area coordinator of Africa. We collaborate with other religious institutes in our mission. Since 1978, we've been collaborating with the Daughters of St. Teresa in our apostolate. And I say, Mother uh, Seraphine, please stand up for recognition. Thank you so much. Plus, all other major superiors present, please stand up and wave to the congregation wherever you are. Thank you so much. Our parents, again, thank you for allowing our confreres to join religious life and to serve the Lord. The daughters of St. Teresa raised Father Emmanuel Agawa. Please rise. Thank you so much, sisters. Thank you so much, sisters. I don't know, when you took care of him, you knew that he would become a priest, a religious. But it's the Lord is doing. He's with us, and we thank you. Thank you for raising him well. All of you have been part of the formation of these our confreres. We thank you and we say, may God bless you. I would now like to take this opportunity to ask Father Andrew Garrich, please come and pronounce your name well. <laughs> it is Father Andrew Michael Gavrich, and <laughs> it is my joy to be here with you, and congratulations to my brothers and all of you on behalf of the Congregation of Holy Cross throughout the world, know of our prayers and our fraternal support, and God bless you. Thank you, thank you so much. 
We thank the liturgy directors of the Archdiocese of Kampala for preparing, for helping us to have a great celebration. Thank you, thank you so much. I sing one stanza of my song, otherwise my confreyers will not be happy. Mungu wangu wanipenda 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 wanilisha waninywesha wanilea wanipenda Mungu wangu 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 wanipenda Thank you my confreres God loves you and provides for you provides for us and I pray and bless you. I promise to support you with my prayers, my closeness, and love. Stand firm in serving the Lord. Be witnesses wherever you'll be sent. Serve all the people. And be faithful to your vocation. I would now like to present our token to His Grace, Paul Semo Gere. I would like to present another one to His Lordship, Severus Jumba, Bishop of Massacre. And to the Cathedral Administrator, Father Atlas Mayanja. And to Father Katabazi, John Bosco, thank you for guiding us. And to our newly ordained priests, Father Charles and Father Emmanuel.
and for the newly ordained deacons such that you may aspire, please look forward to them. <laughs> Thank you so much, my brothers and sisters. May God bless you. May God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Father Cyprian. We shall now have not a speech, but a word to hear his voice, our Lord Bishop of Masaka, Bishop Jumba. You're welcome. Your Grace, the Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese, Paul Semogere, and all of you people of God, I've been asked that you hear my voice, you have heard it. <laughs> but allow me on behalf of all of you, people of God, to thank his grace for bringing forth deacons and the priests who are religious. He has increased our numbers, but with a, with priests and deacons who have a special uh, coloring. They add on their priesthood the religious life. I thought as he was leading us that we are beginning to respond to the invitation of Paul the sixth now saint when he was here on Uganda grounds, on Ugandan soil. He said, Africans, be missionaries to yourselves. And I thought that the Lord is fulfilling that invitation through the hands of his grace this very afternoon. Thanks be to God. I would like to add that for you, brothers and sisters, who are religious and missionaries, you should also think beyond the invitation of Paul VI to be missionaries outside Africa. The need is real, urgent, and has to be addressed. Let's thank God for this day. May God bless our newly ordained. May God bless the families who bring us forth as baptized men and women so that we are enabled to serve him and uh, through you as religious and priests. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, our Lord Bishop. I think we are done. The next program we shall be exiting the cathedral and in front of the cathedral, we shall have a number of photos uh, which will be taken by the different media groups that have helped us or served us today. So I will request all of us to stand. The rest of the speeches and the program, we we'll, shall have them at Paul Paul Memorial Hotel after here. The choir will lead us in a song.